All right, let's just hurry up. Damn it. This should be fun. If you came inside, you make no problem. Any problem is make sure there are no more. My problem. Beth hire me, so go in and drink, but no fighting or kill. Sure, no problem. As long as people don't try to kill me first. They pull a gun out? Not my problem. What a nice song. It makes me want to kill myself. <laughs> Alright. Ah, stop doing that. Are you a starship captain or passenger? Please, I'll quickly take a moment of your time. What do you want? I am Walmart, captain of the left. I've been stuck on Idris for a week because my flaming scoundrel stole my starport visa. And now those idiot guards will let me pass. My crew is going to leave without me soon. I can't afford to be docked for so long. Since we have an extra starport visa, I can talk to you uh, with. I. Yeah, can I talk with you about Captain Solar's murder? Soldiers. No stop of reason noise. My crew came out vouched for me. Mindless bureaucrats. I tell you once I get off this rock, I'm never coming back. There seems to be a lot of people that need one. I don't have any fortune, but I'm a captain struggling to make any money. But I will pay you 500 credits if you find one. Keep another captain. Do you know what's going on here? I don't know for certain. The military has limited all travels to obviously checkpoints are rumors of war. I only have mine, I'm using it. Without a skilled pleasure, your star for visa wouldn't be any help anyway. That visa is key to you alone. I need an open star for visa just like everyone else here. If you have to find one, I'll pay for it. Slicer. Burger Slicer could strip the identification code from the visa to make it an open one. There is no doubt that one will that would happen with my star for visa. A word of wisdom from me to you. Guard your visa with your life. You don't want to be reduced to this. There seems to be uh how do Murder. No, I'm in a natural way. I'm glad if we're going to be here that night. I'm sorry if that didn't work. Perhaps. Eh. Patron. Ew. Lock on Lakula. Ew. Nico. Nice to meet you, sentient. Are you interested in a friendly face? game of Bazaar? The deck is warm, the drink is plentiful, and the company amiable. Can I tempt you? Can you talk about the Captain Souls murder? Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? Do you know Dra uh, Dagon? I know him. He's probably my best friend on this planet. Honestly, he's not a very good doctor. But he is a great drinking companion. <laughs> do you know any reason why Dagon would want to kill whatever her name is? Never. Dagon thought very highly of the good captain. I did too. She had a sharp wit that one. Sad to see her go. Tell me what you know about Dagon. No way. He's probably... Uh, Never. Dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to ask you about something else. I'd much rather talk about Uh, hold on, hold on. Welcome back. Foul business. Uh... Never. Okay, something I'd else. Okay, let's see, maybe, maybe if I do something. We haven't played before, so you should know, I don't pull any punches. Every game, I play to win. You prove your medal, and I might throw in a bonus one of these rounds. But enough of my... Yeah, I'll play for you. All right, come on. Uh, get some. Mother, you know what? Mother, you know what? Son of a bitch. Oh yeah! Luck, luck, luck. Oh! No bullshit. No bullshit! Please, please, please! Oh!
Yes! Damn it. Oh, my balls. That's a sh Do you want another match? Yeah, I'll say You want another game? You. Good thing it's fast. No. This guy's an ass. He's kicking my ass hard. Get some. Yeah! Huh. Come on. Yeah! Finally, some worthy competition for a worthy pack. Do you want another match? Mm, nah, I'll be going. That changed. I got my money back. <laughs> Ah, uh, come to watch races. Have you ever called? Have you established? Yada yada yada. We're gonna have fucking talk about the Sewell's murder. That is a foul bit of business there. I'm not here when it happened. I talked with the soldiers in charge of the investigation. Four of our regulars talk with them. Okay, just talk with them. He's gonna be a good mood. The Civil War looming so close, people are always looking for distractions for their day to day lives. So prove this. I've arrived this from them in the form of soup races. Soup! Talk about the cantina. Uh, what are you looking at, smooth skin? Are you a soup racer? I don't do all the things. Go away. Look, I just want some information. Do I look like a my terminal to you? Just a few questions. Look, I don't like the doors and I don't like this with the thing or board. Do you want my story? I'll tell you my story. Credit. The race is under its decay. Same best. Credit pays well. Why are Richard's paid so well? Because the fans play, pay well. More credits for management equals more credits for us. There. Was that so painful? Keep that up and someone will take care of your criminal nature. If racers are caught misbehaving, we use our racing privileges. For sure this on the track, I have no one who needs anything violent on the track. Alright, no one needs anything violent, that or whatever. Buy your drink? I have one, go away. Uh, okay, I'm going. Right. Yeah, Happy sentient. Can you talk about Captain's murder? Yes, I was about to be not distressed. A happy thing this is, and bad for the flow of commerce. What is your scene, sentient? An acquaintance of mine is being questioned by the military about this. Can you like to get him free? As I would, I prize my loyal customers, and he is most regular. Let me stretch my memories. Structure my memories. Do you know Dagan Glenn? I know him very well. Many sentients look towards bartenders for advice. On my world, they also are sometimes sought for spiritual advice. That is a trust I try to honor. Do you know any reason why Dagon would want to kill Suleo? Actually, not. He has many things, but not a man of reasonable violence. He is dangerously careless, but he would not harm Captain, whatever. Could you tell me about how well you knew him again? Um, okay. Okay. Uh, something else? I have an extra strap of research, but it isn't open. Know anybody who could do something about it? I would, of course, know nothing. Only an expert spicer could come out such an instrument. Uh, enough for now. Would you like... Would you know where I could find an extra strap of Uh, we've got several rough characters in here. Some of the patrons I can never call friends, but as long as they pay, they don't start trouble here. They are welcome because they can make passive points. They seem more like thugs than me. <laughs> they are a little more than thugs, but I, well, what can I do? They are soldiers are too busy for many troubles. So this is part of the merchant quarter. It gets more wild by the day. How are we going? You swooper? Swoop, zoom, 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 much fun go. Uh, hi. Swoop? Yes. <laughs> There's something for J-Man to say. Yes. Swoop. Swoop fast! Yes! Swoops fast, there's something I can help you with. Swoopers, great! Vix watches every swoop race. That's great, Vix. I'm going to stand over here now. <laughs> uh, share a drink in general vacuum for me, stranger. My name is... Uh, I'll 
take that drink. I'm blazed. I'll drink the channel like myself. I'm blazed. I'm blazed. Do you do you not support, support the struggle, blaze? Struggle? Have yes, the struggle to free ourselves from the war mongering right? republic. Free yourselves. I don't know. I didn't know Ordon was a conquered planet. <laughs> we joined the Republic <laughs> only, and yet since that time we have suffered through many wars and privation. We, above all, wish to sustain peace. It sounds like Republic has bad has left Ordon, but the Republic surely saved you. The entire guys was at war. Why would you think your planet will be spared? But the Republic surely saved you from an even worse fate. The Sith left us alone when we were not part of the Republic. If the Sith conquered the Republic, what would what hope would there have been for your planet such as such as yours? But now you are under the protection of the Republic with all of its resources. You are safer than you were ever were before joining. The prime of our generation has fallen in two wars already. That's what that isn't what I call safe. Come back when you have more enlightened view of the galaxy. Uh, 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 let's see, wait, struggle for yourself, save you, there. Let me write about that, but the Republic only wants peace. Right. She's just blind. I thought it was you. I served in the Mandalorian Wars with you. You're a Jedi, right? You look familiar too. I was one of the ground troops. We fought on Daggery Minor together. It was near the beginning of the war. We didn't win that battle. Attention history. I remember Daggery Minor. Enough of the past. The whole galaxy isn't safe for Jedi now. Especially here. Onderon has suffered through three wars started by fallen Jedi. Do you still? Not directly anymore, but I try and lend a hand when I'm able. Jedi don't really serve the Republic. I'm out for myself. The Republic is not concerned me. Not directly anymore. That's the first good news I've had in months. I was sent by the Republic Senate to investigate certain delicate matters that are happening on Onderon. It's worse than we feared. I have to get to Coruscant to deliver my report. But days before I was planning to leave, they started requiring starport visas. Why is it so important if one war secedes from the Republic? After the Jedi Civil War, the Republic was weak. And the cost of the Jedi Order was staggering. This entire region is unstable, and the entire Republic government could collapse. If Onderon secedes, other worlds may follow, and that can't be allowed to happen. Uh, what were you doing here? I really can't say. The most I will say is stay clear of General Backlund. His ambition knows no bounds. I believe the people of Isis are absolutely correct. Civil war is proven, and Vaklu may very well win if I can't get to Coruscant in time. I shall not talk to you about Captain Solzman. What do you want to know? An acquaintance of mine, Dagon, is being held by the authorities. I'm trying to get him free. Now, please tell me. But Dagon again didn't do it. How can you be so sure? Because he was with me at the time. You don't. Why didn't you tell the authorities? It's quite simple. Right now, he's accused of murder. If he's convicted, the sentence is death. If he's accused of espionage, let's say, assisting a Republic spy, then the penalty for that is death. I'm afraid the Onderonians are quite fond of their death penalty. So if I stood up for him, he'd be trading one death sentence for another. I was with Dagon in his office at the time of the murder. He definitely wasn't involved with her murder. I suppose anyone else saw you? We were taking great pains not to be seen. Which has a certain irony to it, really. If you can free him, please do. He's been invaluable with his help to the Republic. I only wish there was something I could do to help. Assuming we get Dagon free, we're going to have a few private words about this. Together, we fought against the Republic during the Mandalorian Wars. I don't particularly like the idea that he's working for them now. I'd like to ask you about the Star Wars visa. Information I have. Couldn't you get a visa? You got my visa? Thank you. But this is a person. Uh, my child, 